Hey, this is MTBuck24, and I am going to do a video tutorial of how I did this guy. Hello there. You must be Dr. S. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Dr. Cure. I look forward to the opportunity to work to Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, here I have the character open in Anime Studio. Um, all I'm going to do now today is just work on his mouth. So right here I have three bones controlling different parts of his mouth. So I have, that is weird, I'm actually missing a bone. There it is right there, so the wit bone. So let me go ahead and delete all this again. Animation and clear animation from document. Okay, so here I have four bones that control the mouth. So I have the tongue, the open and close, the width, and the height. Um, okay, so I did this tutorial previously, but I'm just gonna break this one up into 10 minute segments, just so it's not long for some people. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through the animation itself with just the audio. Hello there. You must be Dr. S. It is a pleasure to meet you. Okay, so we're just gonna go to frame 120 and we're just going to go through and break down all the mouth there. movements and parts to make this mouth animation. Okay, so first off what I do um, is go into, I don't know, just anywhere, say it's his mouth, and I'm going to create a keyframe just by selecting Manipulate Bones tool and selecting that keyframe area. So now when I go to this part, I'm going to click the keyframe again, or the bone again to create, freeze a keyframe, and then I'm going to have his mouth close actually for both these parts. So here's his mouth is closed. So when he says, hello. So right here, his mouth is open. Now, I did a previous tutorial about this. Like I said, I'm just gonna redo this one for shorter, uh, just shorter tutorials to make it not as long. Um, and one of the things I did before is I did a full run through of the tongue and then I did the width and then I did the height of the mouth. But in this one, I'm just gonna do it all in one, uh, one go with the width and the height and the mouth, mouth and everything. I did that previously just so that it's a little bit easier for those watching the tutorial that can see how each bone is going to be moved in order to make a full mouth shape and uh, make it all work out in the end. But for this tutorial, for time's sake, and just to keep it more consistent for everybody else, I'm just going to make the mouth movements all together. So here, he's going to be saying hello. So, so right about here, he is, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a tongue keyframe. And then right about here, he's saying hello. He's bringing up his tongue for the L. And then right about here, his tongue is going down. So I demonstrated this before. Um, the important thing to know is the phonemes, um, which is the smallest unit of speech that can be used to make one word different from another word. And pretty much I gave different tips and stuff in my other video, but the important thing is the mouth movement, how the mouth is moving, and that's why I have the different bones. I have the open and close, the width, and the height. And so with this, if you put your, this is what I do, if you put your two fingers, your pointer finger and your thumb on the corner of your mouth and you start to speak, you can kind of feel which way you're corners of your mouth are going in and out when you're talking. 
And so, right here, when he's opening his mouth for hello, after he's saying o, oh, his width of his mouth is going to go in. And one of the things that I forgot to do was create a keyframe for the width first before I move that. So I'll create one right here. Oops. And then here on O, I'm going to bring it in closer. And now he's going to say there. So I'm going to bring up the tongue for there. And usually when I say there, I kind of have a little curl up of the corners of my mouth go up a little bit. So. Okay, so one of the things also that needs to happen is his mouth is not going to be staying open the same height the whole time, and it's just the corners of his mouth. So you need to adjust the open and close bone as well. So when you say hello, your mouth is kind of closing on the L portion of it. So go ahead and select this bone to see where the keyframes are. So I have this open keyframe right here. Mm. So I'm going to bring this in uh, to a close. Okay, to a close for hello. And then he's going to say there. So take the width and. Okay, so that's pretty much where I want it with the width anyways. So when I'm going to open his mouth, I'm going to select that bone. Manipulate bones tool, Z. I'm going to go ahead and open his mouth a little bit on the there. things I need to do is put his tongue back down. So control B to select the bone and then control Z to get the manipulate portion of it. Okay, so there. I need to put his tongue back down. And I'm sorry if I'm doing a pretty crappy job at explaining things. I really put a lot more of the focus into the other animation, but I've been having a lot of trouble with my compression of my videos and the different open source software. So I got Camtasia actually running right now and hopefully it works out a lot better. So that's pretty much it for this. Um, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back to his mouth layer or his mouth bone and we're going to close his mouth. And this is what it looks like for the first playthrough. Hello there. And that's all we're going to focus on this one video. Hope you enjoy it and stick around for the next one.